Fun fact about irrigators, you can't keep us away from our water. It's uh, 6.46 in the morning. The gate's not gonna let us into the community because, you know, they don't want us to wake anybody up. How are we gonna wake anybody up? It's freaking sprinklers. They come on in the middle of the night anyway. That said, there's my pump station. There's my access. I just need to turn the pump station on so I can go look at something out in the front of the property. I don't actually have to go into the property to look at anything. I just needed to get in there to turn on the pump station. Somebody stop me. All right. Now we're in. And this is all I needed to do. I might have to hit him. Nope, that's it. Pumps are running. Now I go back through the gate and out to the front of the property where I needed to go look at something. You can put a gate in between us and our water. We're still gonna find a way to get to it. We need to turn it on. We have a job to do. And our systems run in the morning anyway. So this system would be making this noise right now because it's 6.45 in the morning and the system would just be finishing right around now. So let me get out to the field, go find the stuck valve, which is the reason why this pump station is off, so I can address it and then let the irrigation system run for the weekend because today is Friday and we want this irrigation system to be running this weekend. So let me go find this valve. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm trying to get this system back up and running again. All so right. they called us out for an emergency. Let's get it done. All right, cool. I think there's a zone stuck open behind the house over there. Say, yeah, so the guy at 2841 reported that that's why they had to shut it off that day. I think we had to message you like last Saturday. Uh huh. Yeah, he said it just stayed on. So yep. it was that quadrant or that zone back yep, there. Yep, that's exactly where I'm heading to go shut that off. Once right. I get that turned off, then we can leave the system back on again. Do you need me to call them? Do you need access there or you can go out in the back? You know what? Do give them a call and let them know that I will be on the property so that they're not alarmed or anything like that. I'll knock on their door too just to make sure. I turned off the recording but the guard came back to tell me, oh my god, that house was on fire. Or at least the garage was, it looks like. Oh yeah, there goes the scooter. Well, that's unfortunate, but the house we're going to is way up the street here. The, the homeowner wanted to alert the guard to the fact that the sprinklers were on. Well, of course they're on. I need to go find the valve that is controlling them and I need to see them on in order to find that. So let's go search for our valve. Well, there's our zone and we've already got permission. So let's go find it. Well. I was just elbow deep in that hole trying to figure out where that pipe is running and what size it is because there is a break there and it does seem to be on this zone. But I ended up finding the suction line to the home system, which is why that propane tank is in the water there holding it up, not the valve. Well, walking the zone to find the valve didn't work, so we're going to pull out the locator and we've got it connected to one of the bundles of the common wires and not both this one goes back to the controller that one goes out to the field we just want to light up the common wire because i'm not familiar with that section of the property in fact that section of the property should not be irrigating and that valve obviously popped open and got stuck open so without knowing what zone number it is i can't hook it up to any of the other wires so i have to hook it up to the common wire because that wire definitely goes to that valve I just want to light up the wire and then poke around to see if I can find the valve box. I may be able to get a high signal at the solenoid where that valve is located just by connecting it to this common wire. So without further ado, we'll fire up the tracker. I don't like the pulse, so we're going to go ahead and turn that off because I know this valve is quite far away from where we're going. We're going to go with the two kilohertz and the number two. I don't know if I need to push it to three, but if I do, I'll come back. Normally I start with one, but I, I know this valve is pretty far from here. So I'm gonna start with two and then we'll go up to three if we need it. We'll go ahead and get our handheld turned on, make sure we're powered up and working. Good to go. All right, off to the area where the valve is at, go looking for it. Now I'm gonna close this so that, you know, it's not gonna rain, but I don't need this left wide open. Well, hold on one darn minute. I know I've seen this here before, but I didn't think to check it. 
I've got a valve box or a junction box with wires in it. That probably go to the valve, or not probably, I know they go to the valves out here. This valve box over here, however, all of the wires are disconnected, kind of like what I'm thinking, why I can't track the wire to the valve. So let's track from this point out to the valve and see what we find. All right, so we'll start with location number two. And yes, I have all of the zone wires wired together that weren't connected before I started this because I don't care which one of those zone wires it is, I just need the one to light up where I'm looking. So connect them all, then go look for the one I'm looking for. Let's see what happens. It is around and find out Friday. Well, that's an interesting sound. Let's go grab our shovel. We'll go ahead and shut this off and leave it pointing right at the hole. I knew it had to be in this backyard somewhere because the way commercial irrigation systems are designed is the valve is typically installed in the middle of the zone. And I know these heads go into the next property and around the corner and they go into that property about to the end of that property line to the neighboring property. So. That would put the valve somewhere on this property, and this would make sense. Let's dig it up and see if we got lucky. Yeah, lucky. We used the Armada tracker. We didn't get lucky. We used the right tool for the job. Moment of truth. Whoa! There it is. All right, we found the valve. Thanks to that puppy right there. <laughs>